2023 is just another number. You wanna know why? Stick around. <coughs> I've, been, I've, been, uh, I've been having a sore throat. So yeah, mom, you know, she knows remedies. Yeah, treating me right. Mom. Bonjour. Cheers. <laughs> Morning people, so I'm in Soka Day right now, and uh, yeah, I'm here to see my mom, visit my mom. Sweet potato, everybody. Sweet potato. The reason why I'm saying it's just a number is because I can actually just die and fade away into existence. Came out too strong, right? Okay. I might have been way too strong, so uh, let me just hold that thought for you. Now, uh, what's goody? My name is Bison. Yeah, that's a good morning to you guys from the cock. So, <laughs> um, but you know, I guess I didn't have that much of a great start in 2023, and it caused me to have like a bit of like a rage outburst and uh, yeah, grief because I had a lot of losses and uh, it had to really change me up a bit. So yeah, 2023 is not what I made it out to be. It started off with heavy losses. Uh, main source of income, which is my camera. Well, it got stolen. And money got stolen. Credit card got stolen. I lost a few people on the way. Made it rest in peace. And uh, yeah, I realized I wasted an entire whole 2022 uh, hoping that a person would change my life. Hmm. Yeah, jokes on me. So of course you know me coming here is a way to get away from all negativity. You know, kind of break from, you know seriously, give me her blessings and advice, of course. I guess I wasn't that much of a person to actually come to people and talk about my problems, you know. And uh, I used to try to deal with them on my own, but now I'm getting older. Next week is my birthday, and I realize, you know what? Let me just. Talk to the people that really might care about me and let them give me some advice because they might be seeing something that I don't see. And uh, yeah, the perspective was really helpful. I'm just grateful for that one. To my big surprise when I came back here, mom became the biggest agriculture I've seen in my life. She was able to make sweet potatoes, yams, uh, lemon, everything. Like she's been taking care of herself. Like, God damn. No lie, I felt like a part of me died. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good kind of death because I believe that I was reborn in this new type of mood. How can I call it? Zen. It's like this gray area where like the black or white exists, but in between there's gray. Where there's the moon and sun, but in between there's the evening. And when there's good and bad, and in between there's humans. Hmm, that that was deep. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, I found my peace. I found my peace in this gray area. I just understood that I am what I am. And I am the one in charge of my situation. Whether it's good or bad, like the way I react is... The way I give importance to that, to that situation and significance to that outcome. So I told myself, you know what, let me be in charge. Let, let me be in charge of my own circumstances. Good and bad is going to happen one way or another. I just have to be in control of how I handle that situation to be able to move forward, to be able to progress the story. I hold myself back. And that's why I understood. See, this new version of me understood that I don't know how much time I have on this earth. And I don't know if I'll ever be remembered in the future. But what I know is that the memories I can create is now. With the people I have right here, right now. I can change lives now. I can make my family proud now. And I can enjoy my life now. So I became... This person who no longer talks about the glory of my past or the potential of my future, but rather I became a king of my present. So again, 
2023 is just a number. It's gonna come and go. But what you do with that number is what matters. Yeah. Yeah. 16, I'm heading out, headed back home, back to work. So yeah, just having my last morning breakfast with mom and yeah, I'm out. Back to the grind. Beautiful to go back on the path sometimes. This <laughs> this is my first sportswear outfit I actually created. It's a tank top, it was actually for the gym. Yeah, <laughs> I remember this one. It was called King's Caliber, the model was Exceed. Damn, this is, brings back a lot of memories. I don't even have any more of this. <laughs>